Hello everyone. In this video, I will continue where we stopped last time in solving the final examination for the rivet uh, uh, unit of study. And uh, we finished last time making the conceptual uh, tower, as you can see, and we joined the two, two elements, the tower itself and the podium. And we also adapt, ad added a division and then we add a pattern. And we said that the pattern type was a triangular bent. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the triangular bent and I'm going to apply it. And I'm also going to show you the difference uh, between it and between making the flat. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, continue finishing the final exam. I'll go file a new and then uh, family and going up usually to the English system and then pick up a, a, a metric curtain panel uh, pattern base. Now you select this grid and you change, you know, and, and pick the triangular bend that you have. You don't, you don't miss and pick this guy. You have to say the triangular and, and bend system. Uh, now this dude, just to show you, have an extra node here, an extra uh, adaptive point here. Well, this dude here doesn't have it, so it's straight. So this guy doesn't allow the overall panel or the adaptive component to bend when it's required because it have one segment here which make it less you know suitable for a curvy geometry while this dude have a point so it can goes up it can goes down and it have two segments between two and four which make it really more suitable for a cur more curvature surfaces anyway while we're having this point in here and it's already a point and it's already having uh, uh, a reference plane so I'm going to select this guy making it active and then go ahead and you know use a four-sided polygon and you know just draw a hundred mil of uh, thickness for the mullion okay is it a hundred I have no idea let's just do it again so that's a uh, hundred mil Anyway, now select the triangle, select the, the, the reference and reference line and have a solid creation and then, you know, just hide it. I highly advise you to do the frame first. Don't do the glass, it's really annoying. And here I'm going to have it just a mill of a thickness and then I'm going to add a glass material to it. Now I'm going to unhide the guy. And that's, here we go, that's what we want. Now you must save and you must clarify and have a good name. I already did that. So I'm just gonna say number two. I just did that before, uh, just a test before, you know, uh, starting this video, just load it into the project. Everyone is happy. Now it's loaded already, so I just get back to it and close it to get rid of it as fast as possible. And remember when you open too much views, uh, it's going to be much more slower. Now, zoom in and remember that this face is 50 and 10, the division. Now, under the division pattern, triangular, bent, if you zoom in, you will find this, you know, the adaptive component already ready here. Just click for it. And now, you know, it's in God's hands, you know, like it's, it depends on how fast your machine is. And if your machine is really bad, uh, don't really freak out with this. It's not crashing, so just don't touch it. Just leave it. It's trying to get all its resources and getting back your dollars you paid for it. And that's the reason we need to buy good machines, not like my one again. And it might take from a couple of seconds into a couple of days, depending on how fast your machine. But usually the not responding, it's nothing to be cared about. You know, like it's just trying to get as much as resources to solve this uh, 50 by uh, a 10 which is 500 triangular bent you multiply that by uh, six faces for each line you have four of them anyway another freaky message telling you that it, it might you know cannot do whatever I just delete that and zoom in of course you will find some, you know, 
misfortune area here it's okay if you rotate you will find some gaps here that's okay you see this guy it's already you know a little bit bending here but you don't see it the curvature is look like and acceptable with the minimum amount of error like this guy you can delete it and apply it later manually um, you know some of them maybe not been applied it's okay it's normal with adaptive component probably you need to it's not actually probably you will need to add them manually at some point to make it 100% correct but look at the curvature uh, kind of nice and accepted you know uh, you might not really noticing the value of the Bend, bend here but it is I'll show you the difference anyway I'm not gonna repeat this boring process of doing the adaptive component and I'm just gonna you know you know load the one that I created already before which is a flat one same pattern it's triangular system but it doesn't have the thing in here you know it's just a flat system so it's not a bend just load it and by the way guys uh, if you are just seeing this for the sake of studying the final exam uh, if you are one of my students that's enough you know just applied those to the four uh, pattern that you have and you can go ahead and skip the next video I'm just gonna explain the difference between triangular and flat anyway I'm gonna pick that guy I'm gonna add uh, flat and immediately apply the AC triangular flat to it remember that it's also 50 by 10 and it might create some hallucinating delay here and again boys if you are following this video uh, for just the sake knowing how to solve the final just go ahead and apply all this uh, triangular bent to the whole you know division that we did and skip to the next video just I'm gonna show uh, whoever cares about the difference between the bent and, and the flat and I, I'll show you really the big difference between them if my laptop did not crash yeah good right now zoom in and you will see if you compare the gaps this is a little bit of a bigger gap with the mulling going all over that's like a little gap here some flies can get into to the building this is a smaller gap you know might be not that much bit difference but it's a little bit smaller you see the curvature here it's almost none it's just line 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 you know so it's really really less you know you see you can see it's a flattened it's like a facet way of rendering the 3d element rather than this guy you might find some you know some mistakes which I didn't find even some mistakes like the one that I have in the curvature one but anyway now let's reduce the 50 to 25 and hit apply so we have less division when you have less division you will start I think to notice the difference between them uh, you know and in, in, in the in way of getting you that correct curvature I'll do that in here and I'll go to 25 in the state of 50 probably the warning message will pop out some of the elements have to be deleted and you know some errors anyway Here we go. Now, uh, again, this is still more suitable, and you will start to see the bent already in here a little bit. The curvature is still kind of accepted on this side, the gap between the panel and the wall, but here it start to get really huge. If you know. If you compare this guy with this guy now, more than flies can get in, probably birds. Anyway, and the f surface is really flattened. You see there's almost no curvature. See the curvature at all, no curvature at all. 
Now let's exaggerate even more. Now this guy, I'm gonna select, oops, and I'm gonna make this 10, and I'm gonna make this 5, hit apply. Now let's see even clearer the difference. And in this guy again, I'm gonna go uh, a 10 here, and then 5, make them really, you know, smaller as a division, which means the panel goes way much bigger. Now, you will see the difference, really obvious. See the curvature now? I'll just zoom in, probably. You can see the curvature. You see this bend now? Way much more obvious. You see the bend in here? And that is what we really want. You might not notice that this bend is actually taking any place when the segment was really too much because this will be smaller and it will achieve the curvature much better than the previous one. But here it will be really much obvious because I have lots of students tell me not a big difference. Now you can see the difference. So it's really bent. And again, the gap is still, you know, it's getting bigger, of course. But look at the gap on the other side. Now we get an elephant can get from this point. Uh, it's really huge gap, as you can see. And it's really obvious, you know, the flatten between them. Anyway, guys, so uh, I'm going to finish now, so far. And again, for the next step, that's, uh, you know, that's enough for this to explain the difference. Now for the next step, I'll, you just need to return this to like 50 by 10 bend for all and then apply you know the adaptive component for all the faces and then save the work so you can prepare yourself for the next step i wish that you find uh, i wish that you find this uh, video useful and see you soon in the next one thank you and have a good day bye bye